Hi everyone, okay, so today I'm doing a review. On... Today I'm doing a review and comparison um, of the new L'Oreal Color Carice Wet Shine. The new L'Oreal Color Carice Wet Shine Stains. That's a mouthful. Okay, these are the newest thing out by L'Oreal, and they are supposedly a dupe for the YSL Glossy Stains. So I have both, and I'm just going to show you the similarities and then the colors, and then just give a little bit more information about them, and then also I'm just going to show application. Oh. It doesn't surprise me that L'Oreal came out with um, the almost the exact same formula. Makeup Alley said that it is the exact same formula as to the Glossy Stains. Um, L'Oreal is a sister company under YSL, so it makes sense that everything would be similar. They even have the same scent. So first I'm just going to start with this color right here. I have the two stains in the color 186 Berry Persistent, and then this one is 190 Endless Red. So I'm just going to start out with Berry Persistent and just show you the comparison. So it has a nice sleek package. It's tapered down and then it twists right here and then the wand comes out like this. So here is a picture of what the wand looks like. And I'm just gonna swatch this color for you on my hand. It's, as you can see, it goes on shiny, um, that is one layer and then I just went back over it again just to kind of smooth it down. So that is what the Berry Persistent looks like. Here is the wand. The smell is almost identical to the YSL Glossy Stains. So here is the YSL Glossy Stain. This has a square, form, square bottle and then here is the wand on this. So let me show them to show you them side by side. It looks almost this one looks almost like a leaf and this one has just a little bit more of a pointed tip. It looks like it has a rectangle part right here and then it goes up to a pointed tip. Very very similar. They're both flat like this same um, bend in them. So and it looks to be that the YSL one has a shorter applicator stick than the glossy, the L'Oreal one right here. Okay, so this is, and let me smell them side by side. Okay, the YSL one has a stronger melon-ish pear scent than the, the L'Oreal one, but very similar scents. This one is more noticeable, I would say. So I'm just going to swatch this color next to it. I'm not saying these are uh, color dupes. Okay, first thing I notice right off the bat is that the YSL Glossy Stain feels a little bit thicker and a little bit more opaque. Um, this was two coats of, of the one of the L'Oreal Color Carice stain. So this is two coats of that stain. This is two coats of the YSL one. The YSL one is a little bit creamier of a formula. I'm going to do another coat of it. It seems to have a little bit more opacity, especially in the second coat. So there is the YSL stain, glossy stain, and that is the color crease. Similar enough. Now let me give you some facts. Okay, so the texture is almost identical. Like I said, the L'Oreal or the YSL one is a little bit more opaque. This one, these are both two coats of the stain. So this is just a little bit more patchy. Same sheen on them though. Same, almost same smell. This one, YSL one's a little bit stronger than the L'Oreal one. I believe there are 12 colors of the L'Oreal one. I'm not quite sure on how many colors of the YSL, but it seems like the lighter colors from, this is what I've heard about YSL as well, the lighter colors aren't going to give you as much as a stain. Now that's probably a kind of a given, but I just thought I would 
I would point that out is that you're not going to get as much of the stain factor from a lighter color as you are from the, the deeper colors. Now, the, I swatched these both on my hand last night, and they were still on in the morning. They leave a stain behind, and I will wipe them off at the end of this video, and you can see the stain that they leave on my hand. So it's a very nice and sleek tube, as you can see. Um, it has the, they both have the gold reflective part of the tubing, so it's nice. It's really nice packaging. It does allow for a little bit of fingerprints, prints, and smudges. Both of them have a, sort of an indicator as to how much product you have left. This right here on the YSL goes down. This one right here looks like it, it will show you when the product is down because it looks like that's product in there. That's not just plastic colored the color of the lip gloss that's the actual lip gloss in there so or the lip stain Just for a price point for you the YSL lip glossy stains are $32 for 0 0.20 ounces so they're $32 um, you are getting more in the the L'Oreal lip glosses are 0 0.21 ounces and they are between $7.49 to $12, depending on where you find them. I found mine at CVS. So, and they were in a, a big display with a ton of colors. And they probably had like, you know, two colors each. It was like lined like this, or for, towards you, maybe I'll do it like that. And then it was two colors of each color. So, um... If you don't get there right away, then. So you can see the opacity now that that has dried a little bit. Now I'm going to swatch this endless red. And then I'm going to swatch them on my lips for you. So that's the first coat of endless red. As you can see, it's quite sheer. Endless red seems like more of an orangish color to me. It doesn't seem as deep and almost raspberry in the tube as it appears. It seems like it has more of a rope more of an orangish color than a true red color. Now, I think I would have liked to have picked up more of a fuchsia color, but I didn't. So I just got the berry okay, and the Okay, so the L'Oreal glossy stains say that they will keep your lips hydrated for up to six hours. Now I'm going to try one on for you so you can see, and I'm going to do it the way that they tell me to do it on the YSL ones. So I'm just going to start... This one that I'm putting on is called Berry Persistent. A very nice smooth applicator. It seems to apply really well, like when you put it in the wand and pull it out, it pulls out a decent amount of color. Uh, I like the way that it's shaped as far as getting on my lips. The, the wand is flexible enough, so when you put it right here, it it bends to go around your lips. So this is the first coat of this persistent berry. My lips feel, it has the same feeling as when I put on the YSL Glossy Stain. You can rub your lips together and they feel very moisturized. There is like a fruity sort of like taste, a perfumey fruity taste that you almost inhale. I wouldn't say it attracts or detracts from my feelings about the lip gloss. So I wouldn't let the smell or the taste, it's definitely not like the L'Oreal lipsticks, which are like grandmothery. This is, this is a pleasant, in my opinion, sort of, sort of smell slash taste. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the so it says to apply and let the first layer dry and then apply the second layer. And now this would obviously be for more opaque coverage. Okay, so this is the second coat. And as you can see, it's quite opaque. This is a really pretty very deep color. I really, really like it. I'm going to go ahead and touch these just to just to give you a see how they would smear so this would be me like trying to smear it and it, you know it's sticky but you see like this residue right here is all is almost like the shine and this is the stain that stays behind so I'm wiping off basically the shine of it and that's the stain that stays behind 
So they really do stain your lips. And then the glossy part can almost, you know, wipe off, which is really interesting. I wonder if the glossy stain does that as well. I'm going to try it. So as I'm wiping that off, yeah, the glossy stain does it as well. But it seems like, I don't know if this is just a more pigmented color. It actually, the L'Oreal one actually leaves more of a stain. Now, I don't know if it was just because it was a darker color than the YSL one. But that is applying the same amount of pressure. And this one is actually more stained than this one. And like I said, that pink color was, a, you know, this is a deeper color. It was probably just a little bit more pigmented. Now, I'm going to wipe off my lips and just show you what my lips will look like. Um, obviously, the red color is not going to be looking as similar or the way that it would really look just because I stained my lips with this one These first. These are my lips after I have taken off the glossy stain. So now I'm going to apply the Endless Red. I'm just going to do it the same way. Depending on what kind of stain you want, you can either do one or two layers. And I think I said that before. I really like just one layer of this. Okay, so this is the second coat of this Endless Red stain. I really, really overall... So this is the second coat of the Endless Red. That is a really pretty red color. I do like it now that it's on my lips. And I don't know if it's just because it's darker because my lips were stained more from the berry one. But... Overall, here are my thoughts and opinions. I d I'm not quite sure if I think these are worth $9, which is what I paid for them. Actually, I bought one for 9 and then I got a $3 off, $3 CVS extra care bucks, so I bought the other with that. But, okay, I'm not, this one is definitely not worth $32. Well, this one is $32, and I would say I'm glad I have one. I really like the color. I got it for my 30th birthday. Um, it's such an interesting texture. I didn't have anything else like it. Now that these are out, would I buy this again? Probably not. I probably wouldn't spend the $32 on this when I feel like you can get the same thing from L'Oreal for cheaper. This versus this, I would say so, so, so similar. So if you have been really curious to know how the YSL Glossy Stain performs, I would say that these are so close, almost identical, same smell, such same formula when I apply it. Um, I didn't try this on in this video because I already know how it applies and feels on my lips. Okay, I really hope that that review was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, um, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Say this dries to a matte finish. Um, it doesn't feel like it's very much of a dewy finish. It feels like it gives you a...